we're going to take a look how the garden looked like after one week transplanting my vegetables. As you see here, we already took down all the shade cloths. Right now, we don't really have very intense sunlight, so we don't need shade cloths anymore. We also fold up all the shade cloths over here. First over here, we have some cucumbers, autumn cucumbers. You see the growing vines start to climb on the trellis. I already put the twines up so they can grab on anytime they want. And then come over here. These are my long beans. I sow the seed directly in the garden. They grow pretty fast. They start climbing on the trellis. They should be flower in the next two weeks. And over here are the green beans. They really grow fast, even faster than the long beans. Some of them already reached the top of the trellis. I haven't seen flower yet, should be soon. And over here, I have more long bean and green bean down there. And over there are the hyacinth bean. They're not growing vines yet. We'll need to wait for next week. I will need to put up the string soon. These are hyacinth bean. They're not climbing yet. Need another one or two weeks. We have one more bed here. I have a bunch of chives. By the way, if you need chive root, please order now because we have a bunch for you. And on this side, more green beans. They start climbing onto trellis. And over here, this side are more cucumbers. They were grown the same time, start to climb on the trellis. This bed here are autumn loofahs, different varieties. They start climbing on the trellis. Right over here, between the chive and the raised bed boards, we have winter melon and joint melon. They are still little. It takes them longer time to germinate and grow the seedlings. Look like they're doing well. Hopefully we'll be able to harvest them by the end of this year. Come over here. These are the okra left from summer. We keep them in the garden for now because we still can pick them. On the side here, right here, all the way up there, these are autumn bottle gourd. This loofah here, we grow them the same time, but obviously they grow much faster. But the bottle gourd are still not climbing vines. Need about another two weeks. Before that, we're gonna set up the strings so they can climb on anytime they want. The other side here, all the way up there, are some bitter melons. This bitter melon will grow almost the same time they start growing vines. These are melons, different kind of melons, hamigua, honeydew, whatever. I just transplanted them. After I come back from China, I just tried to grow as many things as possible in the garden to fill it up because it was kind of in a messy and empty. But it's still hot in Florida, so I think it's good to grow some summer vegetables. This is what they look like right now. In the next two weeks, we will start to have some vegetable flowering and fruiting and hopefully be able to pick from our garden very soon. I do have some vegetable not growing very well after I transplanting them, like these zucchinis. It's not season to grow zucchinis. They just get sick, I think, from the hot weather and environments. This is not doing well. Anyway, it's not the season to grow this kind of vegetable. I'm probably going to have to remove them. Next week, we're going to transplant some cool weather vegetables in the middle of the raised bed right here. Almost all the beds are empty in the middle. So this area, I will grow some uh, cool weather vegetables. We will transplant them next week. And also this bed here, a lot of empty areas. So this is a quick update of our garden and what it looked like after one week we transplanted the vegetable seedlings. We are growing more vegetables in our garden. In about two weeks, we will start to have vegetable flowering and fruiting and we start to harvest the vegetables. Also, because it's the season between warm weather vegetable and cool weather vegetable, we will also have more cooler vegetables growing in our garden. Please, if you like our video and want to follow up our garden work, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumb up. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.